Hello, Rebecca. Aw, your grandpa passed away. That, okay. Rebecca, I did not see your comment before. So we're going to see if you can come up. All right, I just sent you an invite, Rebecca, if you're still here, hopefully. I knew, I knew somebody was going to, I knew it. I knew it. All right, let's do it. I ready. Am. I guess I should ask you if you're ready to hear from him. Yeah. Okay. All right, Rebecca. All right, Rebecca. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, I totally can hear you. Okay, great. Just okay. I just wanted to. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're ready. And that, and so there's a lot of people that um, they're like, oh, they have to be passed away for like six months to a year or some weird. No, it's not career. true. It's not true. It's not even close to though. It's not even not even close to being true. All right, so I get two I get two different kind of personalities here. I get um I get someone who is really quite strict. And but then hold on. So I'm getting someone who like either grew into strictness or grew out of strictness. Like they used to be really strict and kind of judgmental and critical. And then I think they grew out of it. Does that make sense that way for your grandpa? I think, well, I think so because he's my biological um, grandfather and I just met them because I was adopted seven years oh, ago. Oh, oh, so, oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't tell me anymore. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. okay. Um, I think okay. so. I think you're right. I think okay. so. All right. Okay. So, all right. So, um, I'm feeling like you were adopted. No, I'm just kidding. So, that's what yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's the sarcasm again. So when you come to a medium or when you start to get a mediumship reading, and this is for anyone watching, do you just give them a simple yes or no? Now, I do I like know. that you went ahead and caveated that you might not have all the information, right? And that is a good, yeah. that is good feedback. Um, yeah. However, as soon as you started saying adopted and got to know and da da da, that's too much info. And the reason that's too got much it. info is that there's so many mediums on here who are completely fake, and they would riff off of that, right? And then they would start just giving right. you back yeah. information. Okay. All right. Okay. How funny. He's like clapping. He's like slow clapping you. He's like, tell her, tell her, tell her half of you guys are fake. So he would not, he would have been very skeptical of me in life and he would not have believed that I was real in life at all. Would you understand that? Uh, absolutely. Yes. 100%. Okay. Yeah. He's slow clapping again. So he is also sarcastic. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. He <laughs> okay. is. He's awesome. Yeah. 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 And I, he likes this conversation. He, he was a deep thinker. Now, not everyone would have known this about him, but he was actually quite a deep thinker. He would really pick something apart. Not like a woman who overthinks, but more like a philosopher who's digging down deep into uh, one subject at a time or one conversation at a time. And he actually very much enjoys this type of conversation where we're kind of, um, picking apart who we are and where we could improve. Do you understand that for him? 100%. Beautiful. Yes. Wonderful. Um, he also is saying there was, would you understand that he passed from illness that lasted a little while, not, not dramatic, but. Well, we, it was unsure, but I do know that he did get sick with bronchitis. Okay. So, okay. So don't, <clears throat> And it's hard. I know sometimes it's super hard to like yeah, it is. feedback. I know, I know. And I, so I'm not getting on you by any stretch. Other than but that, no, he was healthy. Okay, because I, I feel someone who feels like a caregiver. So would, would his wife still be alive? Would that make sense? Yes, it's, it's my biological mom who's the caregiver. Got it. Got it. Because he is giving... Oh, I just full, full chills. He is giving me a message for her for you to give okay okay um, okay number one he says he does say and i know this is going to sound cliche sometimes i caveat this stuff too much i just need to spit it out and say it the skeptics tend to get in my head but he does say thank you and that he loves you and he is so over the moon that you found um you found there's he's showing me a link and he's showing me paperwork and so I want to say that it was like a family tree or something, but you found something and you pushed everything forward. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
and the message yeah it was a link okay and the and then you can give me uh feedback after i give you the message um the okay. message is actually for your biological mother because i feel like there were yeah. some real um kind of what we're talking about now there were some real traumatic things that were kind of settled that that ended up getting closure if you will that's why he likes this conversation because okay. we are all human and he used to be kind of a you know his earlier years he was a different person and so he's wanting her to understand how much he appreciates her flexibility and her um, awareness and her ability to forgive. Would this make sense for your biological mother? Yeah. All right. That's her message. So okay. the message is technically for her, but he also he also wants you to know how much he appreciates uh, your, your forcefulness. He's kind of saying you're stubborn, but in a good way. Does that make sense? That I what? I'm sorry. Say that one more time. That's okay, that you're a little bit stubborn, but like in a good way. Yes, I am. I am very stubborn in a good way. <laughs> there you go, ma'am. Now you can give me feedback. Tell me what I need to know. Okay. It was, it was, see, I was adopted in 1974. So it was a, the Alma Society that it was a link that they found me and they, and my aunt actually pressured her to do it and my sister. And that's when they found me and they me 2016 15 16 oh wow so, yeah yeah so yeah um how cool yeah they're um yeah it is cool it is cool and so, around yeah, i just want to know that. oh i know and then my poor uncle hits his birthday today so my my grandpa oh. passed away yesterday oh. and it's my uncle's birthday today it's just it's hard what a so, roller coaster absolutely yeah absolutely I, I, do you re, do you do you know who you're talking to though? Do you remember me? I'm the one who sent you the picture of Lily Tomlin. I'm like you're Lily Tomlin. Oh, yes, I did not that's realize me. that. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Bye. that's me. Oh, and then you, yeah, and you even brought Maisie through my dog before. So yeah, we had a session. But thank you so much. I didn't even expect this was just a whim, out on a whim. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Very cool. I appreciate that so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing your grandpa. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how to hang this up or whatever. <laughs> how to do it. I don't either. <laughs> I, I think okay. you just, I think you just X out. Okay. <laughs> She's like, okay, but I'm still here. Fuck. Oh, I just even put my thing. Okay. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> yes, I got it. I got it. Here we go. Did you? Bye, Mariana. Okay. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I can't figure it out either. Bye. Okay, bye. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, super funny. All right, so I'm going backwards. Um, I'm going backwards. All right. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find out where I was in the comments. Um, yep, yep, yep. And then we did that. Oh, how fun. I knew we were gonna, I knew we were gonna do something because of my nose. Dale says, yeah, I gotta love those army recruiters. Oh my God. Yeah. And here's the other thing. I was hung over and I still got a good enough score on the ASVAB that I could have been an officer. But do you think I went in as an officer or use that opportunity to talk to them about college? No, no, that would have been too smart. All right. Oh, damn, Nature Lover, you had nine Great Pyrenees. Holy tamale. Uh, Rika says, can we talk to my black cat, Simone? He has been so cheesy lately. i give you a little something. <clears throat> damn, Tam's all on the buy thing. <laughs> all right. Um, Uh, here's what he's giving me, Rika, is that he's giving me, so I have these little cans of salmon and tuna that I give my cats now and then just as supplements, and he's asking for that. He's saying he actually needs a little more uh, protein in his food, in his diet, and then he's showing me the juice as being good for his coat. Obviously, you don't put it on his coat. Like, he eats it, and his coat is going to get better. His coat feels a little dry right now. 
So that's what he's giving me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you speak with my dog, Macy? What do you want to know, Aaron? Give me something what you want to know. Uh, Mama Cita said it makes sense. Uh, Alicia says you are learning them. You are learning them now, though. You are learning them. Yeah. How do we get a reading? Ready peripheral. Um, so if you want an actual personal reading on Zoom, I'm actually running a special right now. It's $50 off of a 40-minute reading or a 60-minute reading, $20 off of a 20-minute reading. And you would need to email me. And I need to get into my email for those who have already emailed me. Um, I, I'm just, I'm one person, right? Uh, but we'll get you scheduled at the sale price. You know, and it might go out a little bit, but you'll be scheduled at the sale price. If you just want something on here, you can ask me a question. Um, but it, obviously, it's a little bit of a micro reading, right? I just happened to, um, when Rebecca, I had just said, because when my nose starts to itch, I know, I know spirits kind of poking at me, right? And I know it sounds weird. Um, and then Rebecca said, mentioned that her grandpa had just died yesterday. I knew that that was kind of, does that make sense? So, so it's not that I'm doing specific readings. It's just that I'm rambling. All right. SKM says, worthiness must come from your personal belief in yourself. That's the problem. We all want validation. Yeah, absolutely. Shay says, are you wrapping up? I just noticed you're on. Ah, I will be. What time is it? Oh, shit, it's 12 o'clock here. I didn't even realize that. Tam says, yes. Julie said, I would love that. Julie, awesome. So let's, everybody that's in the Facebook group will have to get together and decide like on a nine, night for the Zoom group, just for the support group. And then um, once, once we kind of get our group together, I will probably leave it like that for a while because then people get to know each other and we can be energetically supportive. You know what I mean? Um, Julie was a student in one of my classes one time. And when you lose kind of that like mind, especially if you're in this, in this woo woo niche and you don't have someone else to talk to, sometimes it can be very um, lonely, right? And so Julie could attest to this is that when when the classes were over, it was very difficult for all of us to kind of like move on with our lives. We're like, shit, we've been meeting for a week. We know each other now. We've been supporting each other now. And so sometimes it's actually kind of hard to move on from the classes for sure. Bonker says, took it took me till 55 to learn that. Yeah, absolutely. Gigi said, I had to go look up the Pyrenees breed, never had one, but I had a mop dog. That's what it was. That's what it was, Gigi. Yep, because I've never had a mop dog, but I've had a Pyrenees. <clears throat> Alicia said, yes, Chrissy, but you are in your own way also. You are in your own way. All yeah, and Shay had two Pyrenees. Uh, we've had one Pyrenees through kind of the, the my lifetime, and her name was Sarah. And she was such a cool dog. She was a pain in the butt until she was about three. And then she was like the best dog in the world after that. All right. So I think I'm going to cut down on the messages now. And let's just kind of do some stuff about any Q&As about classes, about readings, about um, um, the spiritual niche, about intuition. Let's just, I think I'm going to cut down on the messages now just because um, I want to. <laughs> Okay. Uh, life is peachy. Oh, oh, uh, life is peachy. I haven't checked my email yet. I got up, I took care of the dogs. Um, I had a reading and then I had a cancellation and then um, I got on here and that's what I've been doing. So I will check my email for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gigi's like, it looks like other people's dogs hopped into my space. It does kind of find, feel that way. Bonkers. Um, I kind of cut the messages off and now, dang it. Yeah, I mean, he will. I think he, I think definitely, um, I feel a little scattered in your son's energy. I feel a little ADHD. And so it, it's always a little bit more difficult for people who do have kind of ADHD or other uh, neurodivergent kind of uh, personality traits to feel like they're finding their way. But I do feel like he's actually done quite a bit for who he is, if that makes sense. All right. Yeah, Bonkers is a crier too. All right, running perfect. Well, dang it. I said I'm cutting off the readings, but I want to know this too now. 
So running peripheral is an estranged parent and she's asking, is my reunification with my daughter a solid one? And that's a pretty solid question. Um, so if you guys feel like I'm playing favor, she wants me to use a different deck. Uh, literally those cards just went everywhere. Um, I will grab a different deck. I feel like, I feel like that energy was kind of pushy. <laughs> Hold one. I have another deck, right? Ooh. Right here. Yeah. Look at all this space. I used to be in just one little corner, and now I have this whole room. Da da da. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I love you. I forgot. I forgot about you guys. All right. All right. Running peripheral is my reunification with my daughter, a solid one. Oh, yeah. This is the deck she wanted. She likes this bougie deck. It's also a little darker. Like, and when I say darker, just the colors are more muted. Um, I don't think she actually contrary to what you might think. I don't think she likes to be the center of attention. I think she likes um, to be in the background sometimes. So is this a solid reunification? Wow, I like this. All right, so first we start off with the Ten of Pentacles. I do think there are some very practical, grounded reasons that you guys have on this reunification. I don't know if money is involved, um, but this is a solid yes card. This is called the Lord of Wealth, and we often think of wealth in different ways, right? Wealth can be love. Wealth can be our own personality. Wealth can be education, and wealth can be money or family. So this card is very much a family card. This is very much a yes card. It is followed by the Four of Cups. Um, I think one of your challenges is going to be when something raises its head that you don't go back to that energy, both of you, not just you, not just her. Don't go back to that energy that's like, you know what, that's not what I wanted. You know what, that's not what I wanted. So that'll be a challenge, I think, because it's followed by another yes. So I do think that the reunification, the energy of it at this moment is a solid one. You guys will have to watch out for this card in the middle though, right? Because you're both fiery, passionate um, people. And this is the Ace of Wands. It's usually my big dick card, right? It just means there's a lot of masculine energy kind of flowing between <clears throat> the female line in your line. Um, it's about passion. It's about fire. It's about um, taking charge. And so if you both have that, sometimes you'll, you'll end up with this middle card, right? So is it going to always be perfect? No. Is it solid at the energy of it right now? Yes. Oh, that's a good question too. Dale, you want to get over envy? Hmm. Oh, by nature lover, she's probably already gone. How do you get over envy? That's such a thoughtful question. How do I get over my envy? I guess you guys just have to ask more interesting questions, so I want to answer them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, all right, how does Dale get over his envy? How interesting. So number one, the first one I get is the Six of Swords. Sixes are about being creative. The Six of Swords, though, is also about leaving shit behind. It's about literally kind of leaving kind of the conversation that we've been having today, right? Leaving some of those um, old feelings behind, those old traumas behind, and, and actually moving away from, from the mental gymnastics that you do. Right, Dale? And then I honestly think you just need to give yourself more credit. Like, what the fuck are you envious of? Because you can go get your own shit. You can go do your own thing. You come off as the Knight of Wands. And this is a this is a person. Now, you're not the king yet. There's there's room to grow. But you're not the page, right? And so you're, you're an effective person who has ideas and goals and passions. And so I guess the question would be, what do you have to be envious of? 
right? And so I think you need to look more at what you've already done. And if there's something you're envious of, go get it. And then I get the star. And so the star in my deck is always someone who tends to fill other people's cups. It's kind of like the conversation we've been having in here earlier. You're filling everyone else's cups when you need to be filling your own cup, right? So you need to get rid of this anxiety about just being who you are and start filling your own cup. Hello, Lisa. <clears throat> oh, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> Ren said she loves me and it's her first time here. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, Sue is Glenn. Oh, I don't, I don't want any boring questions. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to pick and choose my questions right now. Um, because I can, I do talk to pets too. I do. I'm sorry, you guys. I have to, sorry, my nose is super plugged up. So I apologize for that because that was, um, horrible. All right. First time here. Thank you for being here, Renz. Sue is Glenn. Oh, Sue. All right. I'm just going to ask if you should walk away. I don't really give a shit what Glenn wants, Sue. So I'm just going to ask if you should walk away. Ah, uh, Tam's going to call her mama. I love that. Good for you, Tam. Should Sue walk away from Glenn? Absolutely. So here's the thing, you put in a lot of work. <laughs> you put in a lot of work. Um, the relationship is too much work, Sue. In, in my opinion, as the cards are showing it, okay? Obviously, if you don't like that opinion, you're always able to change the energy of the situation and be like, I'm gonna do exactly the opposite of what that bitch said because she doesn't know what she's talking about. And then I do get that there's still secrets between you guys. And that without that feeling of, yes, I'm finally being told everything, it really feels like work. Like you're constantly having to ask and dip and investigate. And is that really how this person feels? Or, you know, is, this is this is kind of exhausting right here. And then I get my solid yes. And I also feel like there's some judgment around it. You either judging yourself for wanting to walk away or you're judging the situation as in maybe I didn't try hard enough. Maybe I didn't do this. Maybe I didn't do that. Just walk away. Just just go. <laughs> just go. That is my opinion. Is that Mount Rainier? I don't know. It just says explore. I do talk to pets. Oh, that was awesome. I don't know what we did. Should have cut ties with Pete. I'm gonna go with yes, just because it seems like he feels like he's doing you a favor in the relationship. Oh, Rika said that would make sense why he's been so vocal. Yeah, it would, absolutely. All right, so I'm not gonna do a lot of readings right now. Um, so Claudia wants to know, what do you see when you connect with spirit? Good question. It's, it, and it really depends, honestly, on the spirit. It really depends on the one that's passed over. Um, sometimes I see descriptions. Sometimes I see, there was this one guy that I'll, I'll never forget that he it was down in Pueblo and he came through like these misty clouds, two big hands and then his face. And he was like, boo. <laughs> and I literally sat back. I was like, oh shit. I was like, uh, was your dad a jokester? Did he like to scare people and she was like yes and started immediately laughing and it just really got the reading off on the right foot and so in that case i saw like a big nose and kind of i knew it was a face right but i didn't have like particulars like i could see everything um, and i could see that he had really big hands and she said yeah that is definitely a characteristic like a piece of evidence so i wish i had like oh i see this and i see that but it depends on every single reading is different literally every single reading is different and that's why i get frustrated with readers on here they're like i'm clairvoyant i'm clairaudient i can da, da, da. we all can and every single reading is different if you're doing it for real every reading is using a different uh, ability or a different sense <clears throat> so usually i can tell when someone's fake just by the fact that they're like i always because this is not the kind of ability where you could say always because it changes always. I guess you could say always about it always changing. 
Uh, SKM was saying, I wondered why you kept rubbing your nose. It drives me insane sometimes. Chrissy, all right. I think that type of group could be very healing. Absolutely, Alicia. And um, for me and for you guys, absolutely. Um, Brittany says, what do the spirits have a message for? Oh, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut off the messages at this, at this point. Yeah. Oh, Ren says, is it possible that my past dog is reincarnated as my son? He passed two weeks before my son was born. You know, there's some people that don't believe that our souls can be an animal and then be a human. And there's some people that think that they are very specific, like soul journeys, like all animal souls are all animal souls. Um, I, I think yes. I think absolutely it could be very well. I mean, obviously, I, there's no way for me to validate that. Um, Well, something or someone or just gave me that your son, either now or in the future, likes something that the dog liked. And you're going to be like, oh, my God, my dog also, I want to say it's food, which would make sense, right? It's either like mac and cheese or spaghetti or there's something that your son either does like now or will like that you're going to be able to tie to this dog, like a, like a really specific thing that you're going to be like, fucking A, I knew it. I believe that once we're energy, um, we can be an animal. Absolutely. I think, I think we have been animals. I think we could be animals. Um, I think we could be a table if we wanted to, like, if that's what we go to the other side and we're like, I'm going to come back as a mountain. And then someone on the other side is like, you know, you're going to have to be there for like 30 million years. Right? Yeah. I'm cool with that though. <laughs> um, you are welcome peripheral. Uh, I need to, I probably need to know your name. Um, so Claudia says, what do I feel when I've connected with a spirit? Also going to be pretty much the same answer because, um, like yesterday I was doing, I did a, an impromptu, um, mediumship reading and I went like this because spirit had kind of made my eye itch. And I was like, well, would you, <laughs> did she have something wrong with her eye? And, uh, the person that I was reading for said she literally had a fake eye her grandmother had a glass eye. I'm like, no. And now um, it isn't that I'm surprised by the information. It's just that sometimes different information obviously is going to strike you a little bit differently. Like not very many people in the world had a glass eye, right? So it's going to be different for every reading, but um, spirit will have me grab my throat. Spirit will maybe itch behind my ear, uh, itch my nose. Um, like right now my ear is itching. So is it me or is it spirit? I'm not sure if I was doing a reading, I would pay attention to it. Um, hello, Lisa. <coughs> You, you, Ken said, are you an animal communicator? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, they probably left already because they were scrolling and ended up in my live. But yes, I sure am. Oh, thank you for answering, Claudia. Yeah, thank you. And I'll be cautious. And, and I don't, I'm not saying cautious as in like, uh, in a negative way. Just that sometimes once we get back into something, we forget there's still going to be bumps in the road. You know what I mean? All right. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. So I'm, I'm kind of cutting off the, the readings. Yeah, Alicia, exactly. And so when, when you're do so Alicia pointed something out really good because I, I read for Dale really fast about being envious, right? And then she's narrowing it down. She said, but envy of what? A person, a job, a feeling, uh, money. Um, and that's, want to narrow that down you want to have that feedback so that you can read the energy and read the cards better right so we gave him a little bit but it was kind of definitely high level general information all right i think oh no the comments just uh all right um where were we all right there we go all right, so da, da 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 Christina said, sometimes your passion finds you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, Sheila. 
Hello, Jen. Thank you. Happy New Year. Lisa said, feels like I never found my passion, but yet I'm a very passionate person. Maybe you're passionate about yourself, right? I have so many passions. I have so many rabbit holes. <laughs> my entire ADHD personality, um, I just want info and info and I just want so much info. All right, all right, all right. Happy New Year, SKM. Thank you. Um, so I'm cutting off the messages and we're just having a conversation now. Yeah, trying different things and other doors open that you didn't realize were there. Absolutely, Christina. I've literally, I'm not even fighting people anymore. I am literally just going to, you know, the universe says, here's an opportunity. I'm going to be like, thank you. Let's do that. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Thank you. I appreciate that, Joe Harmon. She's sending me an unconditional hug. I appreciate that. Oh, Sissy Lee. <laughs> She's like, I lost you for five minutes. Well, hopefully I'm not just talking to myself in here. That would be funny also. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Crystalita said, how did you hone your connection to spirit? Um, I was so impatient, but they drip it to me. They dripped it to me. And I'm like, I'm ready for all of it. Just, just hit me. Just freaking give it all to me. And so more or less practice. You just have to practice. You have to uh, read. You have to journal. Um, I'm not a big meditator. I don't sit in the power. So it isn't actually something that you have to do all the time. You'll hear a lot of people on here going, you have to do this. And then you have to do this. And it has to be um, in succession. And you can't eat meat for 24 hours. And you have to take a really big shit before you could do it. Do you can't be full of shit. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. But I don't meditate. Uh, driving is my meditation. Um, doing housework is my meditation. Um, I do have a, a life pro plate over there. I'll do a vibration is my meditation. Um, but I don't sit and, and just stare at the wall and meditate. So my connection has come from practice. My connection has come from, um, I do uh, have a spirit team. I know who they are. I've given them names, whether that's really their names or not, they don't care. We as humans need to say, okay, this is so-and-so's name. <clears throat> uh, one, I just call sir. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but that's how. Lisa says, isn't a soul just a soul and you can become anything with a soul? I think so. I do think so. Oh, Ren said, so many things so far have led me to say, oh my God, that's Homer. <gasps> I love that. Fuck yeah. I love that. Ren, your uncle had a glass eye? That is hilarious. You're clearly meant to be in this live. Chrissy said, my husband was killed at work. Popular chicken company, revenge ruling my brain. How can I stop it? I am so sorry. That's a... Girl, that's a deeper conversation than just a, a little micro reading on um, TikTok. And I don't say that because I want you to go buy a reading. I'm saying like, like that's something that you're going to have to sit down and, and really is going to have to come from yourself, right? You know what, Chrissy? I just have sent you an invite. Come up. Let me know when you get here. Chrissy might not still be here. Darn it. All right. Well, I was going to talk to her husband for a minute, but that's okay. All right. Stacy says, my deceased son told me in a dream that he isn't allowed, supposed to communicate with me. How interesting. I think that's your own brain overthinking. I think that's your own kind of fear, if I might, Stacy, while still being polite, and, and I'm so sorry for you, loss. Um, I think that's a little bit of your brain in overdrive, because there's absolutely no reason why he wouldn't be allowed or supposed to communicate with you. Nothing that I can think of, certainly. So Stacy, maybe you were, oh darn, you only have 47 followers, I can't bring you up. Um, let me, let me, Stacy, I'm just going to get a little Let's see, Stacy's son. How does she spell Stacy? Stacy's son. All right. So you would understand. Um, and I'll have to skip a lot. Of, I'll have to skip some messages to go down. First of all, Stacy's still in here.
Okay, Stacy. All right. Um, would you understand that this was um, very quick, tragic, unexpected, and possibly um, due to some of his own actions? Would you understand that about your son? Okay. <sighs> He's going to make me emotional, Stacy. <clears throat> He has regret and sadness, and yet he also feels relieved. Okay, so there's a lot of regret, there's a lot of sadness. Not that he still feels necessarily, but that he feels like maybe he caused, if that makes sense. Um, and he, how is he saying this? I don't want to say that he feels ashamed as much as I want to say that he's probably getting used to being where he is. Okay. I don't believe that they go to some dark place. I don't believe that they're in a low vibration, but I do believe that sometimes they do need a little time to get used to where they are. And you do understand. Okay. And I think that's what he's doing is getting used to where he is and kind of the repercussions and the ripples that have been created that he um, didn't think about before everything happened. Right. Because if we're in that place, um, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. And he feels overwhelmed and he feels anxiety ridden and he feels um yeah he's super sorry stacy so for anybody watching he's hitting me with emotion this isn't actually my emotion right now which it isn't hard because i have i am so emotional but he is hitting me with the emotion for his mother and he is so sorry and he wants you to understand that and he wants you to know that okay there you go ma'am oh. thank you um please please tell me his name so that i can tell him thank you properly Ryan. Well, thank you, Ryan. Um, Ryan says he finagled this also. He says he was a creative, uh, slightly shenanigan type of a personality when he could be. Does that make sense to you, Stacy? Absolutely, Stacy. Do you understand that? Okay, I'll get to Chrissy, guys. I love how everybody has Chrissy's back. Everybody's like, Chrissy's here! Um, do you understand that, Stacy? though? Because he says he finagled this. Shenanigan is your word? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he says he finagled this. He says that you were supposed to be doing something else right now. And you, and, and you were either like, oh, but here I am, wasting time. <laughs> Whatever. And then, is this your first time here, Stacy? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to, I screenshotted that. It is absolutely okay. I'm going to screen. Um, he's like, see mom, you weren't wasting time. Oh, there you go, ma'am. And I answered a previous question. Yeah, absolutely meant to be sissy. And that's how the universe works, right? And so I've given up. I've given up on fucking with the universe. The universe can have its way with me. <laughs> All right, Stacey, you said I answered a previous question. What would that be? What, what did I unknowingly answer? Oh, you're so welcome, sissy. It, again, guys, I, I, I don't refer to it as a gift because literally everyone can do this to a certain extent. Now, I will say I'm pretty fucking good. <laughs> um, but I also um, have been doing this um, when I'm not at my nine to five. I do this 365, you know, seven all the time. 
right? I'm either reading about it, writing about it, or doing it, physically doing it, or teaching it. Um, all right, so let's go back to Chrissy. So Stacy, if you could let me know what that previous question was, that was kind of an interesting comment. Thank you, Arlen. You're right. Own my skills. Absolutely. Oh, nice, Stacy. Thank you. I I do have a fifty dollar off sale going on right now, um, for a forty or a sixty minute, and you can take twenty off of a um a twenty minute. But don't do it through the website. Do it through my email so that I can give you the discount. And I I am sorry. Absolutely. All right. Um, Jimmy, I think you're right. Um, I think, thank you, Imagine. Um, I think you're right. Sometimes our Lynn, when we ask, it literally is kind of our confirmation. And what we're doing is distrusting our own intuition. Now, having said that, it's fun to hear a neutral third party also tell you that you're right. I mean, that's a thing, right? But yes, I do also think, as Jimmy said, I also think that it was. And the fact that you're asking is kind of your own intuition being like, what what the fuck yeah 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 uh i wasn't charging today user 96 i'm just kind of messing around and doing my own thing in here at the moment um i do have a special going right now though um 20 off of a 20 minute reading 50 dollars off a 40 or a 60 minute reading and um i don't do like 10 20 percent whatever i like a real deal like if somebody's gonna give me a deal, make it a fucking deal, right? T taking $5 off a $50 reading is not a deal. Taking $25 off a $50 reading is a deal. You know what I mean? So when I do do a sale, I try to actually make it a sale. That's my inner tight ass coming out. All right, um, how you get a reading via Zoom is uh, you send me an email if you want the sale price, which of course everyone wants the sale price, and then I will schedule you. Um, Oh, lead dog. I'll, I'm, I might try, but I want to go. Um, Sheila said, yeah, Stacy, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm happy you were scrolling and found Mariana. Me too. Jimmy, you can see my aura. I love that. And thank you. I love how connected I am too. I really, I really truly fucking love this shit. I don't do in person, Crystalita. Um, I don't because I'm in, I, I live out in the country and um, I just do Zoom. Lots of blues and sea colors. Hell yes, I will take that. I accept that. Um, I love blue is one of my favorite colors and I love the ocean. I grew up around the ocean. Um, so I'm gonna go back and try to find Chrissy and see if we can get her back in here. Let's try this one more time, Chrissy. <clears throat> there she is. All right, it, I think she is still here. So I just sent you an invitation, Chrissy, so it should pop up. I like how everybody had Chrissy's back. They were like, Chrissy's fucking here. Shut Hello? up and take Chrissy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you. Let me see if I can turn it up. You know what else? I might plug in my phone. Oh, there we are. I can turn you up a little bit. Hang on. I'm turning you up. <laughs> I need to be turned up. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's been too long. Um, <laughs> Actually, that just comes with its own bag of headaches. Fuck it. I'll turn myself up. Um, okay. All right. So, Chrissy, uh, my name is Mariana. I don't Hi. recognize. Do, have you been in here before? Have we interacted before? No, I, I'm a quiet backseater. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So we have Chrissy. And Chrissy, you said you lost your husband. Yeah. And you're really having some um, anger. You're really you're pissed off. A lot. Yeah. That's Absolutely. all I think. Of. Absolutely. I totally understand. So, um, so number one, would it make sense to you that you guys have known each other from a fairly young age? Yes. Okay. Would it make sense to you? Um, I don't see you, either one of you as having had a lot of other relationships. Would that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. I, uh, um, Would it make sense to you that a lot of times you were driving the relationship bus in a good way? Okay. He's really quite handsome. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, he didn't know it. He didn't know. He didn't realize. He was a very humble. I feel very humble. Yes. But yeah. then I went. So maybe I knew it a little bit. Maybe I knew it a little bit. Um, I feel very loyal. I feel okay. very, um, I feel like I'm one of the few men in the world who means it when I say I would never hurt you. Yes. Well, now I'm jealous. <laughs> you have an amazing, you guys, you guys actually like have had to have an amazing relationship. Does this make sense? Yeah, that's why I'm so angry. Yeah. He took, he took everything away. Wow. I'm just gonna sit in this energy for a minute because I, I necessarily haven't necessarily kind of felt this before. I feel like you were honest, he was honest, there was there was minimal to no fighting. Um, yeah. Are there children? Would you understand there's a child? Yes. Yeah. Um, two? Yes? No. Just one? Four. There's four? Yeah. Was there a question about having yet another one? Um, he, <laughs> I mean, every time I was pregnant, he was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like you're a sexy pregnant. Oh, I feel okay. good. Yeah. Like, like, no, but you were into it. Like you were like, oh, wow, yeah, look yeah. at these titties. Yeah. Like you were into <laughs> being pregnant, you know, yeah. uh, you right. feel very comfortable as a pregnant woman. You don't like some people, it was absolutely miserable. And I'm sure there were moments, but you feel very comfortable in that vibe. You feel very comfortable in that um, body, if you will. And you're very, you feel very kind of practical and you feel really down to earth and like, well, we're not doing that because that's not practical. And we're not going to do that because that's not practical. And so um, I, I, I kind of love that about you. You're kind of a bottom line up front person. Does I'm this make Virgo. sense? Would you say? I'm a Virgo. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, um, Number one, he says the conversations are real. Number one, he is showing me car. He's showing me kitchen. He's showing me even the bathroom. Like you just literally kind of having these constant ongoing mind conversations. Do you understand this? Yeah, I feel like he's not even gone. Exactly, exactly. And that's what he wants that, like, like you almost just gave yourself your own message, right? Because it's exactly what he wants you to know. And he says, you know, later on, obviously, you'll have to move on. He shows me now don't obviously, I don't do death and all that business. But he shows me you as an old lady. So you have a lot of years, you see where I'm going here. Yeah. And so right now, the way he's saying it is that I am still here. And I am still with you. And that is what I want you to remember. Oh, So sometimes when they come through, they're coming through with their emotion. And because I can feel it, um, he's just giving me um, just, it could be you, but just this deep well of fuck this down here. <laughs> yeah. I feel, I just feel like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I feel like we were the same person, you know? We were so connected. We were together for so long. You do. And, and I and I feel that I I don't necessarily see you and and obviously this is this moment. This is probably what you both think this moment, but I don't really necessarily think that you find you're not gonna be able to one up this. You, you know what I mean? And so in the future, not that you'll never have another relationship again, but there it will never be this relationship, which you already know. You already know that. Um all right, so I do think um, I want to do really fast. Um, so you said revenge, though, and so it feels like an accident, though. It was it um, in the sense that they didn't take care of their machines. Uh, they were called on that by OSHA. Got it. Ugh. 
So he does show me you having filled out paperwork. He does show me a possible lawsuit. Does this make sense? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I have a lawyer. He says that's your revenge. He said, go girl. He's cheering you on. He's like, <laughs> he's like, fuck yeah. You ain't <laughs> seen nothing yet. <laughs> She's getting on it now. He yeah. said, channel all of it. He said, channel all of it and use it. Um, now, obviously it isn't healthy for you to stay in that 24 yeah. seven, uh, but maybe this conversation in all honesty will help you just bring down the anxiety a little bit because he's all on board with this lawsuit. And he, um, he said, even if it doesn't, because the expectation, right, of a lawsuit is that everybody understands what they took away. Yeah. And unfortunately the reality is going to feel like less right but it gives you something to put your heart and soul into at this moment like i want to um, like close their doors and i know i can't you know say that again i want to like close them down but i can't because oh, they're I huge yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no but he does say so you've you've already gone to the media or you were thinking of going to the media because he's showing me some sort of a whistleblower is act oh that's interesting my daughter works for osha as a whistleblower hell that's yeah crazy. that's crazy wow. that is crazy um it was on the news his accident was on the news originally in the beginning so he's saying keep taking it a little bit higher in my opinion i think the message is you can take the story and you can keep going because as you take the story to more news outlets and as you create this awareness of um you know you put this person's life in jeopardy over over what twenty thousand dollars worth of upkeep whatever right I, this is going to cost you more in the long run because i'm not going to let this go for a while and it gives you something to kind of invest your energy into if that if that makes sense it gives you something tactile and uh that you're that you're doing something right um so i i kind of feel like now your daughter has a job so she can't do that but you can you can go to the news and you can say here's what we did here's what they didn't do now my husband's dead now there's a lawsuit right okay. now obviously talk to i'm not a lawyer so obviously before you do that go talk to whoever is your lawyer and make sure that that's okay but i think in the long run you end up do making bigger changes than you than you think are going to happen so so thank you and don't buy purdue <laughs> Uh, I just gave them away. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Don't buy them. So that was, that was the fifth death in five years. Oh, in the girl. same in the same factory. Are you? Wow. All right. Yeah. Allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> just because I I can't I can't get sued by them. Um, however, that that's your story. That's your story right there and if you want to know more we could always um, brainstorm join my facebook group there's just a ton of awesome people in there that can help support you through this and that you can vent in there um we're going to be starting up apparently <laughs> apparently i had an idea today to add more to my plate we're going to start up a little zoom um kind of support group that that it'll be a minimum charge just something to cover the cost of zoom maybe um or free i don't know what we'll do at this point but hop into my facebook group it's mariana's energy reading facebook group on um facebook <laughs> And so we can keep in touch from there. But that is, he is cheering you on. He is, he understands everything. Um, those conversations are 100% real. Uh, I keep seeing another baby. So is, are you of the age that you might be a grandma soon? Uh, yes, but I'm not sure any of my kids want kids. <laughs> okay, someone's going to, I, I feel yeah. like. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there it, there will be, and and I I kind of feel like it'll be a boy, and I kind of feel like whoever has it names it after dad. All right, thank you, Mariana. Thank You're you, everybody. Welcome. Absolutely. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh shit, is Chrissy still in here? Uh, Matan has a wonderful idea. There you go, you're welcome Chrissy. Hey Chrissy, Matan was saying, 
girl, make that a class action lawsuit. Get all the victims together. Get, there you go. Hell yeah. I oh, thank you, Arlen. According to the haters on TikTok though, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I appreciate that. Alicia was saying I was feeling class action too, Maton. Like the more press, the more will come forward. Yeah. Hello, slob. Yeah, it is a great idea. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All right. So I was going to go back and see. Oh, shenanigan was your word, Stacy. I love that. All right. All right. All right. And then we talked with Jimmy. Yep. There we go. All right. I am going to. I love that. Thank you for sharing that with me, Jimmy, about my aura. Archangel, Archangel Raphael um, presence is really strong with you too. Hell yeah. I will. I accept any positive angels. Hell yes. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. All right. <laughs> she lives like, I really need to turn on my notifications for Facebook. It is not intuitive over at Facebook. I'll tell you that right now also. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Well, we really knocked some shit out of the park today. I love that. Stacy, we talked to. We talked to Chrissy's husband. Oh, Chrissy, what was his name, if you don't mind? Yeah, you're welcome, Cecily. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, Lee Dog, we we're going to talk to your parrot real fast. What was your parrot's name? Is this the redheaded Mexican that we already talked to? <clears throat> Sharky. Okay, I don't think I've ever talked to a parrot named Sharky. Do you understand that the first and immediate thing that's coming through is a fatty liver or a fatty heart? And I don't even know if animals can get that. I don't know if parrots can get that. A blue front Amazon. Oh, I'm so sorry. And you would under, I feel under 10 years old. I feel like maybe six or seven. Would you understand that? Oh, Chrissy's husband name is Brian. Oh, well, it's nice to know that not all Brian's are. Never mind. The parrot was 35? Well, Jesus Christ, honey, he died of old age. <laughs> How long did you want him to live? Um, by the way, I'm, that wasn't very nice of me. I'm sorry. They can live up to 80 years? So it was midlife. I did not know that. Okay. 35. You had a parrot for 35 years? I am so sorry. That's like literally a mate. You have to will them to other people? Oh, when you pass away because they live so long? So what I'm getting, immediately I got fatty liver or fatty heart, and then I did get medication. Was this bird on medication? You have to put them in your will. I, I, well, see, we learn something new every day. Would you understand that this bird, he was not on medication? Okay. Because I'm, I'm getting fatty heart or fatty liver, and that that's why he passed. Um, I, I, I can't necessarily, I mean, validate that I'm not a vet, right? Um, all right, so Sharky doesn't feel 35, by the way. I feel very young. I feel very vibrant. I feel very alive. I feel like, um, you said it's a blue front Amazon. Do you understand, um, would a blue front Amazon have a kind of claws, almost like an eagle? Would they be very strong and very, um, noticeable? Would that make sense? Oh, he loved junk food. Okay, Matan said, don't leave any of my, your birds to me. Oh, my God. Matan, my birds are going to Gigi. You do understand that about, about his uh, legs. Okay. And, and I also want to say that um, Amazon, do they talk? Because I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, um, oh, I feel like I'm screaming or talking. And, I'm, and I can be quite loud. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maton will take my dogs though. Um, and then I also want to say, 
I don't think that I play cards, but do you understand that the bird, do you play cards? Um, absolutely loud. Do, did you used to play cards with someone? Because I feel like I'm hanging with you and there's card playing going on, or I have a card, like a like an actual, um, uh, you know, when you play cards, uh, what the fuck are those called? The ones with numbers on them, playing cards. <laughs> Does that make any sense for you? He's showing me like you playing cards or he has a card. My grandmother did and that's where I got him. Wow, okay, okay. So he's with your grandmother. Aw, he's back with your grandma. Grammy, you didn't call her grandma. What did you call her? I feel like it's Grammy or um, Mama, it's something, something not grandmother. Graham, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, well, that's what I got, Lee. Yeah, that's what I got. So, he's kind of funny because he's like sending me these loud bird noises and you actually miss them. And you used to be like, shut up. And now you're like, God damn it, it's too quiet. Does this make sense? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. Um, do you understand that? Because he's sending me so much noise for you. <laughs> he said, be good. Oh, be good, be good. Okay. Yeah, there you go, ma'am. All right, you guys. Well, it is now one o'clock, so I've been on another hour. Thank you so much, uh, Danielle. I am going to let everyone go. Um, let me just recap the information that I do have. I have a Facebook group. Um, we do stuff like this in there from time to time. Um, thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, thank you, Chrissy. Yeah, Chrissy, I like that class action idea too. Um, so I have a Facebook group. Um, I do teach classes. So I teach energy reading. Not everyone's meant to learn it. Some people just want a reading and the experience. Totally understandable. Um, anyone who wants to be a student should definitely have some intentional reasons, but sometimes we just do things because they interest us as well. Um, oh, Claudia has more questions. So Claudia and I are going to do a reading and we just have to reschedule and I've done one for her. And it is really good to bring questions to your readings, especially when you are doing mediumship. Um, uh, what was I going to say? So I have the Facebook group. Um, the Energy Reader course is going to start about mid-February. That is four modalities in one course. It's psychic, evidential mediumship, animal communication, and nonverbal communication in one course. Uh, the animal communication course is going to start towards the end of January, and that is 12 weeks. And you can ask some of my students on here. It is, uh, you hit the ground running. You hit the ground running. We, You will be reading and talking to animals when you're done, period. Uh, what else? I think that's it. I was on another podcast and I think uh, Sarah has made that uh, live on my website. So if you guys want to go see some of the podcasts or listen to some of the podcasts I've been on, uh, that I think that Sarah's made that live on my site. If not, uh, she will soon or I'll publish it soon. What else? I think that's it. I'm having a sale on readings. So it's $20 off a 20 minute reading. It is um, $50 off a 40 or a 60 minute reading. My classes are all online. They're all via Zoom. Yeah, Chrissy, definitely jump in there. Absolutely. Alicia said, same for the Energy Reader course. Definitely hit the ground running. Absolutely. And, oh, thank you, Alicia. And I'm going to do an intuitive class. And <clears throat> this intuitive class is more about you tapping into yourself. It's more about um, like, like, let's say, okay, so for Chrissy, right, with she just lost somebody super close to her, she's going to maybe want to learn about her own intuition and those conversations that she is having. I think I left a dog outside. Um, she's going to maybe want to tap into her own intuition and learn the differences between ego and intuition, the differences between um, energy vampires and your own uh, energy, this kind of stuff. And so I'm going to put that uh, together as well, Alicia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sissy Lee. Tell your mom I said hello. Yeah. All right, Chrissy. And you may want that class, Chrissy, instead of the energy reader or the animal communication. And so I will be... Um, 
I will be putting more information out there and I'll be talking about it also in the Facebook group. And Alicia says, and maybe a one-off tarot class again too. Absolutely. I'm gonna do I'm at least I'm gonna put that tarot on video. I've been doing so much better about getting these videos um going. Claudia, the energy reader course is when you learn four modalities in one course. So you learn, we start off with being psychic, then we go into evidential mediumship, and then we go into animal communication, and then nonverbal communication. And I'm actually going to um, drag it out a little longer than I've done the last ones, just to give people a little more opportunity. Uh, Lee, the Facebook group is Mariana's Energy Reading Group. Super simple and slightly cringe, but that's what it is, as Baton would say. And then, yeah, and we definitely hit the ground running in all of my courses. I am a tight ass. So number one, you can go look at some of these courses and they're incredibly expensive and they, they sit in there and they'll, you know, oh, you have to start at one and then two and then three. Listen, you're going to be talking to dead people and animals by the time you get out of my classes, just period. We hit the ground running. I'm, I'm not going to nickel and dime you to death. Um, there is no upsell. <laughs> In fact, somebody wanted me as kind of a one-to-one -one mentor, and I just couldn't pull it together at the time. And so eventually, that's what I'll be doing, but I, I do still have a nine-to-five, and I like my nine-to-five, and I want to keep my nine-to-five, right? So I have to put my nine-to-five energy into my nine-to-five, um, and then I put this energy in when I'm not doing that. I, I basically, this is what I do is I work. Okay. All right. Um, user 56 says, how long should a good reading be, and how do I know what to sign up for? Um, if you've never had a reading for me before and you're not totally sure, sign up for the 20 minute, right? Um, what is happening out there? I'll be right back. Sorry guys, <clears throat> Tuck was left outside and apparently that was unacceptable. Um, so anyways, um, a good reading, is it, it, it's, there's no way for me to say like you need a 20 or a 40 or a 60. I always think 60s, um, you need a real, um, oh, thank you, Baton. If, if you're gonna pay for a 60, those are like your hardcore uh, mediumship, um, grief, you know, type meetings uh 40 we can definitely like talk to passover animals and do uh psychic questions and also do whatever right so these are mix and match readings um so uh claudia um i thought about doing a standalone evidential mediumship and taking the animal communication out especially now that i have the animal communication um course and so I'm going to think more on that because I was thinking about that the other day, like maybe just taking the animals out because people are often drawn to one or the other very much more. Um, so let me, I'm going to think about that a little bit more. Thank you so much, Matan, for putting that in there. Uh, who is Sunflower? I missed it. Oh, no, you mean eventually we'll get you to her sunflower. <laughs> Mariana will eventually get you to her sunflower. That sounds dirty as fuck, uh, Sheila. I'm thinking my little kitty downstairs, like, who am I putting in my sunflower? <laughs> oh, my mind. My God. Alicia says, Claudia, take her course. It is life changing. If you're already drawn to it, prepared to get hooked. It is. Alicia needs a little more time um, for things, or Claudia needs a little more time for things that are going on right now. Um, but it is also a good way to distract yourself. Um, I do take credit cards, absolutely. And I do Cash App or I do Venmo. And I'm going to set it up this time so that I can people can choose Afterpay. Uh, because there's still a couple of people out there who agreed to do payments who I have to keep chasing down. And so I'm not going to do that anymore. 
uh, I'm going to do after pay. And if people can't do after pay, then it's not the right time for you to take the course. You know what I mean? Um, cause I shouldn't have to chase people down. All right. Alicia, her brain went there too. Oh my gosh, sissy. I can't leave. Uh, yeah. Good, Claudia. Good. Cause that's good for your heart. You need to, you need to be distracted right now and, and it's all good information, right? And it's all, um, stuff that you can use in your day-to-day -day life. All right. So I forgot to eat, so I'm super hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to go eat and thank you guys for being here. I will try to download this one and pick out those amazing readings that we did as time allows. Um, or I may just, uh, post the whole damn thing to YouTube and then um, you guys can fast forward to the parts that you want to see again, especially Chrissy and Stacy. All right. And Lee Dog, honestly, with your, your well, I mean, I guess Sharky didn't give us any huge messages, but um, it's still fun to re-see it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you.